standing before the bench and the judge holding the gavel seated in all his glory is the perfect holy God of glory whose eyes are too pure than to set upon the sinfulness of man. And there stand we as guilty as sin. And the case proceeds. And before you can enter a plea, and you have no plea, the judge says, I have something to say to the defendant. Everything you've been accused of, you have done. Every action, every thought, every attitude, you could not be more guilty. And particularly standing there in the light of my glory. There should be not a hope in heaven or hell for you. But defendant, I have this to say to you. My unique, perfect, only, beloved son was just nailed to a cross pierced in his side, crowned with thorns, mocked and beaten for everything you are and do. And because of that, everything that was due you was inflicted on him, and you stand before me spotless. Right about there, I just want to crumble into a heap, but the judge keeps talking. Defendant, my son who died for you, he rose from the grave and he conquered death. And just then the door behind you opens and in walks a glorious resurrected Jesus. And the judge says, and I have appointed him to be your attorney. And just then, I'm about to crumble again. It's too much. It's too much grace. It's too much love. Then he says one more thing. And defendant, I hold in my hands here a document. You were guilty. The sentence was carried out on my son. He rose again, stands before me making intercession for you. And I have in my hands some documents I have just drawn up. Not only have I forgiven you, not only have I inflicted my wrath on another, but in my hands I hold the adoption papers. Mr. Defendant, you are now my son. And from now on, every time you pray, it's to this God that you pray. The one who went to such great lengths for you. That's why we can say we ought to love prayer. That's why we ought to say that with full confidence and with a deep longing we should come to God in prayer. It's that God that we pray to. It's that relationship that we have. It's that access that has been given to us. And yet we find prayer burdensome. And yet we try and live a kingdom life in the power of our flesh seems increasingly a waste. Now get this. This happens through 